Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The early 19th century saw the advent of the world's first steam-powered tugboat. This innovation marked a significant shift as steam engines provided a more reliable and powerful source of propulsion. During the Industrial Revolution, tugboats became essential for the growing global trade. They were used to tow barges loaded with raw materials, such as coal and timber, facilitating the transportation of goods between ports and industrial centers. In the modern era, tugboats have continued to evolve. They now feature advanced technologies, including powerful diesel engines, dynamic positioning systems, and modern navigation equipment. These innovations have enhanced their maneuverability and safety. Today, tugboats remain essential for the maritime industry. They assist in docking and undocking large vessels, escorting them through narrow channels, and providing firefighting and pollution control services. Without tugboats, many port operations and maritime logistics would be significantly hampered. Before any towing operation begins, a detailed plan is essential. This includes assessing the size and type of vessels to be towed, checking the suitability of the tugboat, and evaluating the towing equipment. Safe transit times, navigating through narrows, passing under bridges, and dealing with areas of high traffic density are considered factors during planning. Also, the tugboat's static and dynamic stability is crucial because it can experience tremendous towline forces, sometimes exceeding its bollard pull. A thorough inspection of the tugboat is carried out to ensure it is in optimal working condition. Then, after leaving the port, the tugboat approaches the tanker ship carefully positions itself alongside. The skillful maneuvering of the tug is crucial to avoid collisions or accidents during the connection process. It's essential to consider the considerable suction effect that comes into play. This effect is influenced by several factors, including how close the tug is to the tanker, its speed, and the shape of the hull formed around the stern of the tanker. The ship is connected to the tow through the wire rope and connections such as a Canadian link. In some ports, Tanker ships may be restricted to very low speeds, sometimes as slow as five knots when making the tow connection. This is done to minimize the risks associated with the suction effect and girding during the connection process. To prevent girding, a potentially dangerous situation where the tugboat is pulled beneath the tanker's counter or towards the ship's propellers. Well-established towing arrangements are crucial. Girding can be highly hazardous and can lead to damage to the tug. To improve stability on conventional tugs, a gob wire, also known as a guest rope, is used. 
This short wire or rope is attached to the tow line at the aft end of the tug. By using the gob wire, the towing point is effectively shifted aft, closer to the tug's stern. This arrangement helps counteract the suction effect and provides greater control during the connection process. The utmost precision, caution, and teamwork are essential to successfully connect a tugboat to a tanker ship and begin the towing process. The Ninian Northern Platform Topside is a colossal structure weighing a staggering 14,200 tons. Its transfer from the twin hulled vessel, the pioneering spirit, to the Iron Lady Barge was a monumental task that demanded meticulous planning and the deployment of specialized vessels and equipment. After the transfer to the Iron Lady Barge, the next phase of the operation involved towboats. These towboats, often powerful tugboats, played a crucial role in moving the barge from its initial location to the quayside at Dales Vaux in Lerwick Harbor. The vessels used in this operation are equipped with significant horsepower and bollard pull, allowing them to provide the necessary thrust and control to maneuver the massive Iron Lady barge. Barge transportation is thriving on the dedication and capabilities of firms like Leadcore. Leadcore boasts a formidable fleet comprising nine tugboats and 22 barges, being a major service provider to natural resource and industrial clients in southwest British Columbia. Along the north arm of the Fraser River, Leadcore's strategically located tugboats are adept at efficiently navigating the waterways of the region. With one vessel exclusively dedicated to serving Victoria, Leadcore's fleet offers versatility and rapid deployment capability to promptly serve any location along the southern coast of British Columbia. Harbor towboats, also known as ship assist tugs, are purpose-built vessels designed for a specific task, assisting large ships during their entry, exit, and maneuvering within harbors and ports. These towboats are generally smaller in size compared to ocean-going tugboats. A distinctive feature is their higher width to length ratio often necessary to accommodate the tug's wheelhouse. This design prevents contact between the tug's wheelhouse and the hull of the ship they are assisting. Large ships, such as container vessels, often have pronounced rakes at the bow and stern. Harbor tugboats are specially designed to navigate these hull variations safely and effectively. The OOCL is an exemplary case. It held the title of the world's largest container ship when it launched, with a capacity of 21,413 TEUs or 20-foot equivalent units. These immense vessels are challenging to maneuver, especially in confined harbor areas such as the port of Felix Tow.
The entry and departure of such colossal container ships require the expertise of harbor towboats. These tugs work in tandem to ensure that the OOCL safely navigates through narrow channels, busy harbors, and berthing areas. Harbor towboat crews employ precise maneuvering techniques, often using multiple tugs strategically positioned around the container ship. Their goal is to ensure that the massive vessel is safely berthed or undocked without incidents or damage. The USS Theodore Roosevelt a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier is one of the U.S. Navy's most formidable assets. These massive vessels are essential for projecting military power and air support worldwide. When a colossal aircraft carrier like the USS Theodore Roosevelt approaches a harbor, it presents complex navigational challenges. Abra Harbor in Guam, while strategically important, has limited space and navigational channels. Tugboats were crucial in guiding and assisting the USS Theodore Roosevelt during its entry into Abra Harbor. Their powerful engines and skilled crews ensure that the massive vessel safely navigates through the narrow channels and berths. When it's time for the USS Abraham Lincoln to depart from port, tugboats are once again instrumental. These vessels, often with their impressive bollard pull, provide the necessary thrust and control to safely guide the aircraft carrier away from the dock and into navigable waters. Using tugboats in military vessel operations is not merely a matter of convenience. It's a crucial component of strategic maritime operations. Tugboats ensure that military vessels can be quickly and safely deployed, which is essential for responding to global security challenges. Tugboats, often overlooked but indispensable, are pivotal in maritime operations. Their advanced design and unwavering importance underscore their vital role. They enable the safe and efficient movement of vessels that range from small barges to the largest container ships and military carriers. Their expertise is indispensable in navigating complex challenges such as tight channels congested ports, and adverse weather conditions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.